welcome back to another Heather Mac Reacts. I hope you're ready because today's Am I the A-hole posts, I've been told, are very devilish. <laughs> so if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get into it. Am I the A-hole for not giving a bonus to employee? Not to an employee, but okay. Um, yeah, I think you're kind of the a-hole, but let's see what you have to say. I'm a 56 female and I have an employee we'll call Holly that is 29 female. She's been in our small company. We have nine employees, which my husband and I own for almost six, for six, almost seven years. Every holiday season, we have a holiday lunch at either a steakhouse or a fancy restaurant during work hours. For the first few years, Holly came to the party, but she's very antisocial and did not eat much or seem to be enjoying herself. But for the last two years, Holly has refused to come. Last year, I told her that if she didn't come, that I wouldn't be giving her the yearly bonus check that we present to everyone, and she still refused to come. I asked her directly why not, and she bluntly said that she can't stand to eat with us and that two of the employees smack their food and speak while eating, and she can't stomach sitting at a table with them for two hours. While I agreed that I did notice the bad table manners, I felt that it was extremely rude to not come, so I said okay and let her stay behind and did not give her a bonus that year. This year, I once again asked Holly if she was coming so I could plan the reservation and she again said no, so I said okay. Yesterday, my husband was helping me put the holiday cards together where we put the bonus checks in and asked where Holly's was. I told him that she's not coming so she isn't getting one and he blew up at me, rightly so. He says since Holly has been there so long and is one of our best employees that we should just give her one anyways, but I still refuse to. I think if she can't sit and eat a meal with us for two hours, even though it's on the clock and we're paying her to, then she shouldn't get one. If anyone is wondering, hers would be $500. To me, that should be enough incentive. She's not rich and is single, so she's paying all her own bills. I don't understand it and I was hoping to get other views. Am I the a-hole? Yes. Okay, one less person to feed. What is your problem? Why are you so controlling that you need everyone to attend this Christmas dinner with you when you said she's antisocial so she doesn't like being there? What? What is your actual issue? Because it's not this. You're acting like this is your real issue, but this isn't your real issue. Your real issue is much deeper than this. Y'all... I don't even know what to say about this one. I don't know what to do about this one. Yes, you are the a-hole. Give that girl a thousand dollars this year because you missed her last year. And I hope your husband continues to fight you on it because you're being ridiculous for absolutely no reason whatsoever. <sighs> okay, y'all, let's move on. Next, am I the a-hole for not telling my boyfriend that I have a child? Yes. That is an integral part of who you are, or at least it should be. And if you have an actual boyfriend, not just someone you're like talking to or messing around with, an actual boyfriend, he should know if you have a child. <sighs> Y'all, I'm getting cranky. Let's go, let's see what they have to say. I have been dating a guy for 10 months. It's getting pretty serious and we we're even thinking about meeting each other's parents. The problem is that I have never told him I have a child. She lives in Bolivia with my sister and I haven't seen her in 11 years. I don't feel like a mother at all. I talk to her maybe two to three times a year, birthday, Christmas, important deals. It felt right to not mention her because she doesn't live with me. Girl, but like, why do you only call your daughter two or three times a year? But we were planning to go to Bolivia to meet my family, so my daughter too. They do not speak English, so I'd pretty much be the translator. So I decided to tell him that I had a child back in my home country, but that it would wouldn't change anything in our lives that we could have our own family one day. He got super peed off, told me I deceived him, and he's been ignoring me for a week now. Am I the a-hole? Uh, yeah, I would think in 10 months, something that important should have come up. And the fact that it doesn't would make me nervous to have children with you in the future because if you could just leave that first child so easily and not talk about her, not care about her, not call her, not have anything to do with her. Like I understand immigrants leaving their children back home for one reason or another. Like I've heard of it happening very often, but not even like a one phone call a week. Like I understand it's probably expensive to call back home too, but like one phone call a week would make a huge difference and you couldn't even do that. So yes, you are the a-hole. You actually uh, are pretty awful as a person, it sounds like. And I don't want to think about it anymore. <laughs> I don't like this one. 
Uh, not exactly fired up. I'm more just low level irritated and disgusted. So let's just move on. Am I the a hole for accepting my family's Christmas invitation despite my husband being upset? I don't know what that means. Let's see. I, female 32, met this wonderful man, Philip, male 36, two years ago. We got married four months ago. For context, I have a 10 year old son, Billy, from my previous relationship, and my ex isn't in the picture. I have to admit that Philip's relationship with my family isn't so great. They would disagree on a lot of things. For example, he had an argument with my dad when he said that he was keeping my grandson away from them, but Philip stated he wasn't and that he couldn't visit with Billy because he had work. I was sick at the time. The latest argument was what made things worse. My mom and sister were discussing natural remedies. They're into that stuff. For my niece and Philip, he's not a pediatrician, called both of them my, for my niece and Philip, who is on a pediatrician, called them both ignorant for not using meds instead, which caused a huge argument and Philip being no longer welcome at my parents' house. Now, they sent me and Billy an invitation for Christmas, but did not include Philip, which I expected given how strained their relationship has become. I called my mom to confirm that I'll attend, but the minute Philip found out, he went off saying he could not believe I was fine with my family excluding him and then agreed to go and leave him behind. I told him it's their celebration and I don't get to decide their guest list for them and also I'm not leaving him behind because because we did not have any plans for Christmas he said he thought that we'd automatically celebrate together the three of us but now I'm taking Billy away from him as well I thought that was a bit melodramatic but it's literally just a few hours at my parents home but he insisted it was about principle and respect we had a big argument and I said that he basically alienated himself by continually picking arguments with my family but he started ranting saying it wasn't about the fact that they didn't invite him but the fact that I was willing to let that him spend Christmas alone without Billy and me we went back and forth on the issue but do not seem to be re but do not seem to be reaching a solution my parents are used to spending every major holiday with Billy so you can see how much pressure I'm getting from both sides here okay I think your husband is the a-hole for picking fights with your family um you just married into that family so that is your family too and you need to play nice with them I think you're the a-hole for assuming that your husband of four months was gonna spend Christmas alone. Like if your husband is not welcome at your parents' house, I guess you're not going to your parents' house. Yeah, you are the a-hole here. I've decided now. What were you thinking? I mean, I get that you wanna see your parents, but like maybe you just go there for dessert for a little while afterwards, let them see Billy and then go home because if your husband isn't welcome there, then you shouldn't be going there. Or you should make your husband like stop being such a jerk to everyone. It's kind of a sticky situation, but definitely the a-hole for thinking that your husband was just gonna, you know, spend the holiday alone because he's ostracized from your parents' house. That's weird, weird energy, weird energy. I wanna know what you guys think about that one in the comments for sure, please. That That is it for today. I. I'm done, okay? These ones just got me. I need a break. I, I need some coffee. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.